Moi. I'm really tired of explaining myself, so you know what? I'm just gonna cut to the chase. Someone tweeted a picture at me of some lady turning their under the stairs area into a tiny chihuahua bedroom. And I said, I want one of those. I just so happen to have one of those spaces. This is what it looks like. Actually, Ryan Higa and all of his friends and I, we've all fit in there together, right? This isn't my house, we rent this. So like, we can't like renovate this into a really cool dog hangout area, which is my dream. But I can like fuck it up a little, a little bit. So I'm gonna make this into a chill dog living room. Because I'm an adult. I mean, we were using this for like storage, like just random storage, but I think it'd be way better suited to be like a cool dog living room. And like when my niece comes over, she can like hang out under here because it'd be cool for kids to. I don't have any kids, I just have dogs, in case you couldn't tell by how ridiculous my channel is. So I went to Target and I bought, you know, what I could find in terms of like smallish furniture and things to make it look like a living room. And I didn't really do a good job of like measuring the dimensions, so fuck it, we're just gonna try and see what happens. But my plan is to fix the ambiance because it's dark and dank in there and, you know, put something on the floor, put something on the ceiling, some nice lights and some little dog furniture so they can chill in there. And I think we're gonna be in good shape. So if you ever wanted to watch like a home renovation show for someone turning their like Harry Potter cabinet into a dog cabinet, this is for you. I don't know if you've seen the dream corner that I did in the office. Like I pretty much just stapled and or nailed blankets and towels, but it like, it's fun and it makes it fun and nice. So I ran out of extra blankets and towels. So I literally got these like kids canopy things. And I'm thinking like that's gonna make it even easier than blankets and towels. I'm just gonna try and nail them to the fucking stairs, I guess, and uh, cover the walls. So I think I'm gonna do that first before we put anything in there. Oh, this is gonna suck. I feel like the whole stairs come down in my head. I caught my eyes, they're funny. Like, don't even let me fool you. I'm making this I don't think it's gonna cover like everything. Like, if I put it here, I think it would just make it weird. So, we're just gonna cover the walls. I can't really do the ceiling. Probably not possible. But this part's cool. I mean, that's better than nothing. Right? I mean, I think it's very cute already. What? It's very cute. But I don't want to do lights. So I just finished the lights. Do you want to come in? And... Look there! I mean, it's already pretty sick, so I'm excited. Right? Like, that's a thousand times better. I'm no longer scared to be in here. So I got this rug for in here. This is actually like, if I break down this whole space, this is such a worthy buy. Cause it's like a cushioned fake little sheepskin rug for the dogs. Look at that! Now my knees don't hurt as much. I'm gonna just, you know, cover up this. It fit exactly, but you know, give me a break, it's a tiny dog room. So the next thing I'm gonna put in here um, is a tiny dog dresser. Uh, it's a nightstand. But, um, you know, they're gonna need someone to keep their belongings. Wow, thank you. <laughs> Look at that. Guys, we're gonna put all your clothes in there and stuff. Perfect. Nailed it. So this wall is a big open space, but luckily I got this adorable memo board for them to put all of their memos on. Did it come with any nails? I also got these adorable hooks because they're gonna need somewhere to put like their leashes. And Kermit's gotta put his nervous collar somewhere, so I gotta need to hang stuff. I'm gonna put both these things up on the back. So the memo board is up. I think it looks lovely. I don't think we have any memos to go in there, <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, the the le nice little hooks are up for them to put their leashes, and we got them this beautiful board. So that you can know, no humans are allowed in here. I'm sweating. All that's left is to add the furniture and the things in here to make it pretty. So I'm gonna do that and then show you the reveal. Like a true home makeover. <laughs> Tiny houses. What's their theme music? I don't know, play that and imagine it. And then I'll see you for the reveal. The only negative to under there, it's unbearably hot. Are you guys ready? It's time for the reveal.
Mommy and Daddy did something very special for you. Come on, Miss Weech. Welcome to your new living room. Wow, guys. <laughs> what do you think? Is it nice? You guys like it? Is that fun? Oh, you're welcome, Kermit. You're so welcome. I'm so glad that you like it. Here, why don't I move the pillows so you guys can sit on the chairs? Go sit in your chair. Peachy, good girl, Peachy. <laughs> we may or may not have found a use for the memo board. Uh, I put my iPad in there, and now they have a TV. Just in case you didn't think I was crazy enough. Peachy, she took that toy. Peachy, that's for under the stairs. Get your toy. Good girl. Wait, Peach. She straight up stole a liquor bottle and left. Hi, honey. Oh, Marble, do you want to see a new little special room just for you? Guys, stop smelling his butt. <laughs> Let him in. Peach, move. Marble, look, it's a tiny living room just for you. What do you think, bud? Oh, good boy, Kermit. Peachy, you're going to have to sit on the floor, honey. What are you guys watching? A crow playing ping pong on your TV? Like, I'm being straight up honest, I didn't think it was going to come out this cute, but this is ridiculously cute. They're happy, they like it. Are you trying to leave, Mumble? No, Mumble, please stay. Mommy spent a lot of time and Mommy's sweating. So can you please just enjoy it for like five minutes? Kermit likes it. This is ridiculous. Like, I kind of want to fucking hang out in there. Like, it's pretty dope. So dope. Like, that's, it's nicer in there than it is in our house. It's so nice in here. You still haven't noticed the greenie up there in the frame. <laughs> it's a picture of our parents and their favorite item of food. <laughs> Kerm, are you happy? Kermy's always happy. Yeah, he likes it. He's the most appreciative dog. I wonder if in the winter they can come down here to like warm up. Because it's really yeah, hot. It's fucking hot. I feel like it'll be hot in there always. I feel like that's why Kermit is having such a good time. Because it's finally the temperature he wants to live at. It's unbearable for everyone it's else. Sam Celsius. Sam Celsius. Look at him. Falling <laughs> asleep. Marble likes the dog pad, but he likes his mother more. I'm Marble, sorry. the type of cat you drop off at daycare, and the whole time he just waits for his mom to get <laughs> Okay, but that was also me, so. <laughs> I love this furniture. How did we find this baby sized furniture? It's for kids, that's why. Like, these are little kids' beanbag chairs and kids' chairs. This is fun. Marble. Wow. Marble, <laughs> Marble, what's the rent in your new apartment? None! It's free because you don't have a job. I made all of you guys a beautiful functional space for dogs. You can look at the time and you have a French bulldog lamp, which I'm honestly jealous of and might take. You have storage for all of your belongings. You can hang up your collars at the end of a long day. <laughs> There's a video of a cat giving another cat a massage. Like how relaxing, guys. Peach is like so happy. Like I've seen some nice ones where they, you know, they make the door like a doggy door and stuff. But, you know, if you rent your staircase, I feel like this is pretty great. And I kind of honestly want to hang out. There's a spider. I kind of want to hang out in here once I get some raid. Uh, this is really fantastic. And I didn't think it was going to come out this great, but I'm so pleased. So if you have a child or a dog, Bring them to my house because I have it under the stairs, Harry Potter cabinet, Wonderland. Why is Kermit winking at me? Kermit, is there something in your eye, bud? I think there's just something that he knows and he wants you to know he knows. <laughs> I think he's just shifty. <laughs> um, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put it in videos every Wednesday slash Thursday. And, you know, I don't always make videos like this, but when I do... I do. <laughs> This gives me hope, though, that if we put in, like, a little bit of effort, we could actually make our house nice someday. Okay, Marble, go ahead. You can leave. I'm sorry for torturing you with a beautiful fucking home renovation. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? What in the fucking world could you possibly want? He says he wanted a bigger one with a window. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys next week. And if you ever make a tiny room for your dog, make sure that you tweet it at me because...